Are you boys 21? Say yes. Yeah. Go ahead in. Show's about to start. Welcome to the Circle Freak. I don't know if I'm a vampire addict, but I definitely think the whole vampire thing is really cool right now. I think part of it is that each vampire in every story is a little different. You know, it's not like they're all the same vampires or they're not all following the same set of rules. I mean, each character has has different powers or different things that they can or can't do. So, I mean, each vampire thing is different. And, and vampires, you know, they got a lot going for them. I think it's just an age old thing. You know, people, for, for as, you know, as long as we've been telling stories as people, there have been vampire stories, you know, I think it maybe has to do with um, people not liking the sight of blood or being afraid of losing their blood. And... I'm not really into vampires. <laughs> I, I, and I've already played one. I like the movie. I, I like this script. I like a lot of the things that it says. I, I like that it's smart and it's funny and it's audacious because it tries something new and different. That is sweet. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I saw his painting on my vampire books. He's a vampire. Having a good time? I think there's a lot of kind of themes in the movie that, that really play out, and one of them is, you know, looking at people from the inside and not being judgmental of, of people who are different from you. And I think that's a really good message. And it's, it's interesting because it's not just you know, there's things going on in your head, you know, that you can think about, and especially for Darren, you know, he's kind of going through this battle of whether or not he wants to accept other people or whether or not he wants to become a freak or be different, and so there's a lot going on mentally as well, which is really nice as, as an actor to have mental thoughts to play off of. I think it's about friendship and loyalty and what you're willing to do for a friend or whether you're whether to whether you're willing to do bad things in order to achieve a good result. Um, and I think it's about the mentor-student relationship too, you know? And ultimately it's about what it means to go from childhood to adulthood, you know? The transformation that, that the main character Darren goes through where he becomes a vampire is really kind of an allegory for coming from childhood and your body changing and turning into this other thing, you know? I think that because it's a vampires, of course, it's going to have a really young audience. And I, I think it's great that a movie that is for them, it, it's, it's a smart movie for, for, for I, I believe, for um, teenagers. But also I think it's important that somewhere along the line, you forget that, or that they're freaks and you're just involved in the, in the humanity of them through the movie. And I really like that about the film. So it wasn't a vampire aspect, which, by the way, when we did it, it hadn't happened. You know, we, it has a lot of special effects, so it took a while. So n none of these other shows had come out. But I think that people are fascinated with vampires because people are afraid of death. And they don't die. Dear, want to become a vampire? I'll do it. Wakey, wakey. Here, feel that hole. I can't do that. My legs are still numb. Can you feel this? Ow! Well, in Cirque du Freak, one of the superpowers that the vampires have is flitting. And I think that'd be really cool to flit, to be able to uh, run really fast. Well, it's, flitting is kind of a combination of like being able to slow down time and run really fast. So it's kind of cool. It's, it's like a method of transportation. It would definitely not be growing the beer. Definitely. And if I was going to have the superpower of seeing the future, I would make sure that I can remember what I saw, because in this one, she goes on trance, and when she comes back, she doesn't remember anything. Um, I would definitely love to have the power to put my baby to sleep and for her to have a peaceful uh, sleep with sweet dreams. I suppose the coolest part was, like, you know, the costumes that I got to wear, you know, and the fact that he's this man from another era, you know. Yeah. He, he became a vampire when he was 20 years old in the early 1800s, and so his point of view is still very much that kind of person, even though he's been alive for 220 years. 
And the worst part um, was, you know, the darkness, you know, yeah. being so, like, um, kind of cynical all the time. I'm generally more an optimistic yeah. kind of person, you know? <laughs> Just like a real vampire. That is one awesome vampire power, man.